Hi, I'm Dave Squire, CITS here in Lamar. The team has gotten a lot of questions over the last couple of weeks about how to transfer old OneNote notebooks from a personal SkyDrive account to your new SkyDrive Pro account available here in Office 365. You should know that SkyDrive and SkyDrive Pro are two separate systems, so they don't communicate well together. In order to move your notebooks, it's a very simple process and it will actually help to put all of your files for school in one location. First thing you need to do is access your Office 365 account, the instructions for which can be found on the iCafe website at iCafe.lcisd.org. Once you've logged into your 365 account, in the upper right hand corner you can see the tab called SkyDrive. Go ahead and click on that. It may take a few minutes to configure your settings if you have not visited this site yet. Once it's done, it will show you a screen that looks very much like the one you see here. This is my SkyDrive account, my SkyDrive Pro on Office 365. What you're going to do is create a brand new notebook and transfer your old data to it. So click on New Document and choose OneNote Notebook. It's going to prompt you to create a new name for this new document. In this case, I'm going to move the notebook that we've created for Poly Ryan Middle School on the old system over to the new. So I'm just going to call it Ryan Middle School Staff. Now when I hit OK, it's going to open my new notebook here in the web app. This is the web version of OneNote. To move all of your stuff in your OneNote, your old notes, into this one, click Open in OneNote. This will pull down a copy of the new notebook and set it side by side with the one that you already have synced. Now you may get a security warning that looks like this. That's okay because you just created it. We know it's safe. Go ahead and hit yes. Once you do that, it will open up that brand new notebook we just created, and it's going to add it to your bookshelf here on the left. You may have to scroll down for that. Now once you have it here, all we're going to do is grab the old sections from our old notebook and pull it down into the new one. All I'm doing to do this is clicking and dragging. Wherever you see that line pop up is where it's going to drop your section. Now this is a very simple thing to do. As you can see, I'm just dragging and dropping. This will move everything from your sections. All the pages, any files, any links that you have will all move along with it. So make sure that you're checking on that information. Now you'll see on the notebook next to Ryan MS Staff, you see this little circle arrows here. It tells you that it's syncing it up with the new Office 365. So when I go back by clicking on Internet Explorer, it will start to show me all of these sections that are syncing. If it closes out like that, don't worry, just click on your notebook and you can see here all these sections are starting to pop in. They're going to populate. It will take a minute for it to sync, but overall they will all show up. So you can go ahead and click the X here to exit back out of that. And now to share this notebook, all we're going to do is click on this little lock button. You can see underneath the sharing column here, the little lock button means it's only shared with you. So to share it with people, you click on the lock and just choose invite people. This is where you give people permissions just by typing in their name or email address. I'm going to share this with the principal of the building, and you can see that the list pops up with her name and her title here. I want to make sure she has edit permissions, but be careful with this. You want to make sure that this box is exactly what you want. If you give them edit permissions, they can change anything in your notebook. View only permissions means they will see the notebook and any changes that you make, but not be able to make any changes to it. Typically, you want to require sign in and click share. That's it. I've created a new notebook, I've moved all of my information over, and I've shared it back out with the people who need it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please be sure to get in contact with your CITS.